Hello, this is Les. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to run a couple little power plants that I designed and built for steamboats. Uh, the one in the, the front is a three-cylinder engine, single acting, with a vertical boiler. And that is a two-cylinder double acting engine with a vertical boiler. The, uh, the boilers use denatured alcohol for fuel and uh, I'm going to run them in a, in a little bit here um, just to say a few words. This steamboat right here uses the three-cylinder power plant And I've made other videos of this boat and these engines running on air, but I'm going to run them on steam today because some people have asked about that. This has a manifold that I made on top to exhaust the steam outside of the, uh, the boat hull to keep condensation out. This is a launch style boat and uh, it also uses the, the three cylinder engine but this one has a little bit larger horizontal boiler and I designed it to use uh, sterno for fuel. So that's a pretty simple design little boat to launch. And then the, the four cylinder engine is in Is in this boat right here, the Weymouth Tug, and it's the the four-cylinder engine. And coming off the exhaust of the engine, I go through a little um, condenser and separator to separate out uh, moisture again to keep moisture out of the hull of the boat and this one has a little bit longer um, horizontal boiler with a large flue that goes through the center and then comes up the stack and it has a little um, butane burner right here for a heat source so that gets pretty hot um, and puts out quite a bit of steam This is the book I wrote on building uh, miniature model steamboats. It's about 70 pages and it has the detailed step-by-step -step instructions for building the, um, the Weymouth tug, and that little launch in the back. And then of course the blue one right here is very similar. Uh, the hull is very similar to the Weymouth tug actually the hull is identical it just has a different superstructure and again it's using the the three cylinder engine so i'm going to fuel those power plants up in just a minute here i'm just going to move a little bit of stuff out of the way um, if you're interested in my uh my book send me an email if you'd like more information on it it uh it's about 75 pages 75 80 pages and it has step-by-step -step instructions and plans for building six different steamboats with six different engines and six different boilers.
I'm putting about a half a cubic inch of water in the uh, boilers. Distilled water. Here's the denatured alcohol. This little knob on the top is a wick extender and uh, it, it allows me to uh, increase the flame inside the boiler and um, steam production. Um, to make the engine run a little bit slower or faster so there's a little bit speed control with that device. I think they're both lit. It doesn't usually take very long for the engines to get going, they're so small. Well, I didn't even get finished oiling it. For self-starting the engines, they, uh, they should start on their own. Although they get a little waterlogged starting up sometimes, so they need to spin after that. If 
You may have seen these engines running on air. The three cylinder um, has a little valve, a little valve shaft on the side. That's gear driven. These little power plants don't hold much fuel and water, so they don't run very long, maybe five or ten minutes. Um, but it doesn't take very long to refill them and get them going again. I try to set them up so they run out of fuel and water at about the same time.
Okay. Thanks for watching.